beautiful people you're yeah, welcome to another fantastic episode of the entertainment recap show with the vibe queen guys i am super excited i don't know if i look it but trust me whenever you see a touch of bread on me hey i am as happy as what is always happy i am sure happy and well if you must ask me and if you must know it is because women are making us proud all over the world now today i am going to be focusing most of my gist on the popular superstar who created this fame and platform for herself and i am talking about no other than the nigerian chef Ilda Bassi. Oh my gosh. Now, for those of you who are wondering who this lady is, she's a 27 year old um, lady who is a chef. She owns a restaurant and um, I mean, she owns, she used to run a cooking show. Um, she's actually a TV presenter and actor. She's featured in so many movies. Movies like um, uh, Flatmates, that's a series, um, Dream Chasers, and a host of other um, series and movies. Now, guys, that's not the gist, though. The gist is if you've been on social media, you must have come across her videos, pictures, and a particular center where people are just jam packed hailing this lady called Ilda Bassi. Now, Ilda Bassi is currently trending because she decided to put in for the contest which would give the winner the permission to have his or her name written in the Guinness Book of Record. <laughs> you know that, of course, if your name is on the Guinness Book of Record, that means that you've just broken record. Now, you know what we do on Afrobeats Global, yes? We actually look for the musical element in these good news. And that is where my gist is. Guess what, guys? Here are some musicians that actually went there. Hey, if you don't know how important this is, let me remind you. Now, now, if you go to concerts, you know that you people pay a huge amount of money to actually watch some of your favorite musicians play. Now, isn't it beautiful that some of these musicians who would normally charge outrageously went out for Ilda Bassi to perform for free to actually entertain Ilda to cheer her on and to entertain the other Nigerians that were present there to cheer her on? Well, some of the people that were there include Dremu. Oh my gosh, I was really excited about this particular one because I saw the clips. So beautiful to see guys because as Dremu was performing, Ilda was cooking and she was vibing. It gave her some kind of vibe, some kind of ginger and I really loved it for her. <laughs> Well, Ilda could not go to church, of course. Now, the beautiful thing is that there is one popular um, musician that went there to take the church to Ilda, and this is no other than Gary Justified. <laughs> Now, another person that was there that actually shocked everybody is our own latest Guinness Book of Record breaker to Tiwa Savage, Mama Jam Jam. In case you're wondering how did Tiwa break the record, have you forgotten that Tiwa just performed during the coronation ceremony of King Charles III, making her the first Nigerian to actually perform in London at the coronation ceremony. Well, this was actually shocking to me because when I saw Mama Jam Jam like storming through the videos I watched, I was like, oh my gosh, aren't Nigerians just some of the cutest people in the world? Now, another person that also shocked us, well, maybe he didn't shock us anyway. After all, they say, you be my G for life. We be like beans and rice. So, I'm beginning to think that, are you sure that anywhere you see T.Y., you will not see Spyro? Anywhere you see Spyro, you will not see T.Y. Because Spyro was also live at Ilda's Cook-a-thon and he also performed our jam. Who is your guy? <laughs> Okay, and 
this actually also gave ginger to Ilda because I could see the vibe on her face. I could see how you know she was drawing strength from people as they were singing and vibing to the performance. Now let's talk about some of the people that were not there. This particular one made me happy. Uh, it shocked me and it made me so happy. Now I am talking about no other than Starboy Day for you. Now, Starboy was not there, right? Before you people will say he's too proud. He shocked all of you. Now, Starboy was caught on Ilda's IG live. And guess what? He didn't just join the live, but he dropped comments. He dropped the love emoji. Love, 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 love. And guess what, guys? He also followed her. Hey, Starboy is plenty. Now, another person that was not there, that is one of our amazing musicians, that also threw in so much support is Burner Boy. Oh, you are Burner. Now, Burner Boy also tweeted something and it was so beautiful. Like, he was hailing her, he was saying, It is so beautiful to see what she is doing. And he just wants her to know that he is rooting for her. Like, we are all rooting for her. Now, guys, of course, all the celebrities in all the other um, industries were present. But, well, for Afrobeat people, you know, we like to talk about music. Now, let's move away from Ilda as we hope that she breaks this world record we can't wait to celebrate her let's also talk about another person Sheung Kuti. Hmm. guys you see the weekend was full of drama and i am so shocked you see as people they celebrate Ilda, then there is Sheung Kuti. now remember that over the weekend there were videos of Sheung Kuti. like there was a video that was trending where he slapped like a man a policeman and guess what guys and people were like why would he slap a man in uniform now we had two different group of people some people were like eh -heh, why are you people taking sides if it was the other way around where the policemen were brutalizing our uh, civilians you people will be coming for them and here is somebody giving it back to this um, man in uniform and you people are talking but some people were now of the opinion that ah uh ah -uh, you can't slap a man like that now. Talk less of a man in uniform. Like, what could they have done? And ex especially because, you know, Shemu, so many people like to, you know, when they say Shemu, they always feel like he's so aggressive. So some people already have a formed opinion about him. But guess what, guys? Shemu actually came out. And it was like people are just even defending a policeman or you're defending a man in uniform. You didn't even ask what he did. This man tried to kill me and my family. And we're like, really? He tried to kill? What if he tried to kill Shion? Like, you mean a man that has, I mean, we, we shall have gone. He tried to kill Shion and Shion just used slap to retaliate. Anyway, Shion even backed up his points by saying that this person even tried to apologize. But I mean, this story actually changed along the way. Because guess what, guys? We now started seeing like IG of police stations coming out to say that that was really bad of Shemukuti and he should actually be taken behind bars. Like he should be arrested. And someone, one very respected lawyer, um, Femi Falano, he, was, he actually said something about the fact that, okay, this policeman went to Sheonkuti's house, but he wasn't going to be arrested as Sheonkuti himself returned himself in on Monday, which happens to be today. Well, we've seen videos of Sheonkuti being, you know, um, escorted into the police van and taken into the police custody. <laughs> ah! Oh, more drama just plenty everywhere, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the entertainment recap with the Viking. I hope I served you the gist as it did hot. Anyway, guys, I can't wait to read from you. So, share your opinion, share your thoughts on everything that I have talked about. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Like, drop your comments, and in case you're not following us on our social media platforms, please do on Instagram, it is Afrobeat Global. On YouTube, Afrobeat Global. And yes, you can follow our other platforms, our sister brands, Voice Storm and Uncut Extra Mag. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I remain the Vibe Queen on Mobile Stay blessed, stay safe. I love you. Goodbye.